Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDAC Engineering and I've got a quick tech tip for you guys here. I'm going to be going through some of the main Mastercam add-on products that Mastercam themselves makes and one of them is the Curve and Drill 5-axis toolpath and I have a really good example here of a little tweak you can do with the Curve and Drill 5-axis toolpath. So the curve side of that toolpath is takes the 5-axis curve toolpath and what it does you can drive a tool along a curve at different tilts in order to tilt the tool for whatever reason you want to tilt your tool. Be it normal to the surface, be it with tilt lines, be it with a few other techniques you can use. What I'm actually going to do on this piece here is I want to cut on this blue surface this undercut. And I can't cut that with a standard surface toolpath. I need to tilt the tool away from the feature because as you'll see when I throw my view on top, that feature overhangs there. So this is not ideal by any means, what I'm doing right here now. And if I had to do this more than once in a great while, I'd really recommend buying the complete multi-axis suite of tool paths. But in this case, what I did is I took the, I took curves and I projected them onto my blue surface. And then I created a set of tilt lines to tilt the tool to. I had to get a little creative here. I had to not only use tilt lines, but I had to put some extra tilt in the tool in some of my settings, but this will work. This is a quick hack for, uh, for you to get ahead if you just do an occasional time when you have to do this sort of tool path here. And to be honest with you, it took me a good hour to figure out all these curves just through trial and error. And then I kind of had to do some other tweaks here and kind of figure out a few other, other things here. But you can see how, how this could be used to cut a surface once in a great while in this situation here. Let me show you another cool little feature here that with the Curve and Drill 5 axis that most people aren't aware of, and it's on the drilling side. Uh, Mastercam put in model prep tools a few versions ago, and most people don't know that you can use that to create your hole vector for 5 axis drilling here. So I'm going to go here to my model prep. I'm going to go to hole axis. And here's how I like to do it. I like to put points at the bottom, circles at the top, and it's going to create a vector for me. So I'm going to zoom in here, and I'll click that hole. And that's the direction I want that vector to go because it points towards the spindle. I'll do the same down here. Again, that's good. It's pointing to the spindle. Tells me the diameter right off the bat. I'm in millimeters right now, so that's 25.4 millimeters, which is an inch. So what we'll do here is I'm going to go to my drill multi-axis toolpath, and I'm going to I'm probably actually going to create a tool here. We will create a drill, and it will be one in because I can do my metric conversion right in the box. I'll do some number plugging in here. I'll say it's an inserted drill. So it's kind of what I'm simulating right there. And I'm going to do my cut parameter here with points and lines. And if I have a point that has a line attached to it, like I do down here, it'll automatically use that point for the tool vector. So I have my drill and 5x output, my cut pattern, points and lines. I'll set my linking here to just be breakthrough by the tip of the tool. Again, I'm in millimeters, not inches. That's why for some of you guys this might look a little off. And let's take a look at that toolpath here that I used in making those tool vectors automatically. There's my drill, and there's my drill. So that's the model prep feature that can be really handy in the Curve Drill 5-axis toolpath. Thanks, everybody, and have a good day.